Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in, relax. We're going to do a little fun creating. To, I can't even talk. Oh, boy. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Welcome to my craft room, everyone. My name is Susan Campfield of SueStampfield.com. I have a dog in here. He's sleeping now. That's good. Um, welcome. It's Saturday night. A busy day today. Today was our November craft afternoon event. Drop me a comment if you were able to tune in and join me this afternoon for craft afternoon. See that rhymes. Pretty cool, huh? Um, and uh, tonight we're gonna just do some fun creative play. And uh, I thought it would be fun to kind of do a little recap. Uh, do you realize this is the, wait, I got to think here. This is the 11th crafternoon. Is that right? <gasps> we started in January. I think this is the 11th crafternoon that we've done. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, so what crafternoon is, it's, uh, um, it's a class that I do. If Sony places a $50 order uh, before tax and shipping, then the next month they qualify for the Crafternoon class. So the Crafternoon class, I mail them a packet um, to make one of the cards with me in the video. The video is a public video. Anyone is welcome to view that. That's what happened today. And I do a unique featured fun fold that's a fun fold that's new to me or one that I dreamed up out of my head. <laughs> um, or one that has uh, one we tried intrude one that I've adapted and kind of made new again. So after the video, um, I share, not only do I share the card that we make, I also share uh, four other, at least four other designs of the card. And then I write up tutorials for every project. Those who place the qualifying order and got the packet, get the, the tutorial bundle for for free. Uh, team members um, always get the tutorial bundle for free. And then anyone else is able to purchase those tutorial bundles. Right now, you can actually get one of the tutorial bundles, one of the past tutorial bundles, or this November one that's going to be coming up for free if you place a $50 order in my um, online store, Sue Stamfield dot com or you email it to me. Um, if you place a $50 order, you're going to qualify for not only next month's craft or noon as you normally would, and you'll get a packet in the mail from me to make that project. You're also going to uh, get a coupon code for me, and you can redeem that for any one of the past tutorial bundles. These are very detailed step-by-step -step tutorial bundles, um, and they are $10 value. So kind of a little extra Thank you from me. Um, and that that is my Black Friday special. It's going on started Thursday night and it's going through the end of the day on Monday. So thanks for tuning in. So good to see your names popping up in here. Hello, hello, hello. Quebec, Canada, Pennsylvania, New York, Colorado, California. I saw Susan here cheering on big blue. Uh, is it is it she's from Michigan? It's Wolverines. Is it um uh, go blue. That's the, the phrase, huh? <laughs> We've been doing lots of Minnesota Viking football around here lately. So, um, all right. Awesome. So good to see you here. Uh, just want to remind you that la, 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 I send out free project sheets. Um, um, usually two, three times a month. You can subscribe by going to suestampfield.com and click on subscribe. You can also, um, at that same spot, subscribe to my blog. The new um, fun fold that we did today, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, if you're interested in purchasing that tutorial when it's available and seeing all of the fancy, the nice photos of the projects and so forth, um, if you subscribe to my blog, you'll get notification when that blog post goes up. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, I, it does take me uh, quite a while to get the tutorials done because they're very detailed. I like to do step-by-step -step photos and that takes a little extra time, but it's it's so worth it. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and let's look to the desktop camera here. And here we go. Yay. Oh, got scissors joining the party. Now, here at um, Sue Stampfield, we do play a little uh, a game. If you want to grab a beverage of your choice, I lose stuff all the time on my desk. Anyone else have that same problem? Like, it'll seriously be right in front of me and I'll miss it. Um, and so we play a little game. And when I find it, I say found it. And we all take a drink of our beverage of choice. So let me know what is in your cup. Cindy's got water. That's what I've got too, Cindy. Uh, ice water for me. 
All right, so let's start. We're going to do a quick little recap on our past Craft Renew ones. Which one should I share here? I'll show this. <gasps> They're all so fun. So this was the Craft Renew one, um, from January. This is the Freestanding Funfold card. Pretty simple name, right? Freestanding Funfold card. It stands for display like that. Kind of overlaps and closes up, fits in a standard envelope. And that was the January uh, Craft Renew tutorial bundle. We uh, The tutorial bundle has all of these projects in it. Oh, I love this bunny. So cute. Um, the wedding card. And then we had the St. Patrick's Day card all the fun things, and then the little otter. So sometimes I have trouble keeping it to five cards, as you can see. Okay, wait, I was just going to show one of each fold. How did I end up showing all of them? I hadn't looked at these in a while. It was kind of fun to go down memory lane and uh, see those again. Okay, that was January. All right. Where can I even stack these? It's going to be quite... <laughs> It's going to be a bookshelf full. This was a February Craftinoon Fun Fold, the pop out uh, box top card. So the card opens up like this, it flips out from the top of the box there, and then there is a fun little pop up inside. You can do this with, gosh, any different, there are all sorts of things you could have popping up. Here's one here that has um, actually words popping up on the inside. So, so many options on this one. Um, we did lots of different fun ones. So that was the February um, box top pop-up card. All right, we got, help me do a countdown here. That was one and number two. Ready up for number three. Ooh, sparkling energy juice, energy drink. That sounds good, Debbie. Um, can I remove the banner? Oh, Deborah, thank you so much. I always forget. Oh, always forget. Okay, hopefully that that is better to see. All right, let's have more creative inspiration here. This was the March um, the March uh, Window Visions uh, Craft Noon Tutorial Bundle. This one has a ribbon jelly band. Card opens up like that. It's a scenery, and then it opens up like this. The idea being that you can see through the window on either of the panels. So uh, kind of a fun, uh, fun display, kind of a, a scenery one on this one. And then it does stand up um, for display and however they want to display it. So let me show, I'll just show one more here. So many fun options on this one with the embossing. And that one just has a window, uh, a different shape window in it. And then the embossed panel and oh, <laughs> I've got it upside down. And then like this, and then you can see that that can go through that way. Um, so super fun. Uh, that is the window visions, bunch more cards in here. This one's really pretty. <gasps> this is a different way to do that. And then we have the grassy grove as well. Let's just take, just take a look. This is number, uh, what are we up to? Window visions. Number three, <laughs> number three, these bundles are tutorial bundles are all available for purchase with step-by-step -step tutorials. And to get those, you go to suestampfield.com and go to the um, the shopping section and go to the tutorials for sale area. Okay, that was January, February, March, April. I think this is April. Do you guys remember? Was this April, the floating panels? Mm, I think so. We had multiple versions of this one. So it slides off. And this is either April or May. I gotta get, might've gotten the two mixed up. Can anyone verify? <laughs> anyone know this one does stand for display this one has four of the um has three floating panels on it this one i think has two here yeah most of them have the the two panels but this one has uh an extra one just so there's instructions on how to do that so that is the floating panels tutorial bundle all right what were we up to april i think i think that was april and then this was may yeah i think this was may this one was a crisscross uh car uh, fun fold card so it, it crisses and it crosses and then there's a pop-up on the inside this was the one we made as the make and take and then there was just tons of other options. Super cute. 
So I believe that was me. And then I even did it two directions. So this one, those were horizontal. This one was vertical. So this one is the crisscross, uh, crisscross floating message card. That's what it is. Ha, it's all coming back to me because inside these messages, they sort of float. They pop up, but they also kind of float in midair. It's kind of fun. All right, what are we up to now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that would be this one, number six, which was June. This one is the, let's see, let's slide off the panel there. And oh, this was the pop out bendy card, so popular. So this is a fun fold, it does wobble and jiggle. And it stands up like that, freestanding, and shows off the beautiful scene inside. This one was like a Christmas door. And then we had the Halloween. I don't know. This might have been July. I think I'm off one. I'm not sure. But I can tell you this is the Papa Bindi card. So <laughs> looks more like a July one, doesn't it? And then this one had the panels on the back for the signature. So... All right, we won't look at all of them, but oh, oh, just bent my hat. Oh my goodness. There we go. Um, lots of fun ones in here. Yeah, pretty sure this was July. All right. Well, then was this maybe June? <gasps> I'm getting all mixed up. All right, let's look at this one. So many cards, you guys. So many cards. All right, that was the pop-up bendy. This one, what was this? Oh, this was the vertical freestanding fun fold card. Okay, I think this one was actually June, and the one we just looked at was July. This was June. So sorry about the mix-up there. It doesn't really matter. This will be called the Vertical Freestanding Fun Fold. And this was a playback to January's, which is a horizontal freestanding fun fold. And I reworked all the measurements and then even added on this one the, the extra extended panel. So this tutorial bundle is available and it's the vertical freestanding card. When you go to the tutorials for sale, you see pictures of all of the cards um, with the fold. So it, it does make sense when you're on there. And if it doesn't, message me, let me know. And I will, um, I will clarify if you have any questions. So that was June. We already looked at July, which was the pop-out bendy. And then August was the horizontal pop-out bendy. Oh my goodness, so many cards, so many cards, so many cards, um, which opens up like that. You slide off the belly band and it pops up like this. And so again, we have that panel that pops out, but this is the horizontal version. I reworked all the measurements to have it be horizontal because some uh, some stamps just display better in a horizontal versus a vertical uh, direction. So this entire set of uh, tutorial bundle is available with the horizontal pop-out bendy card. So fun. I am so sad this one is retiring, you guys. I love this one. Now this one has a, a catch closure. It pops out like that. And it is so gorgeous. We had this last year and then uh, came back in this holiday catalog. And now it is retiring Oh, again for the last time. So I uh, absolutely love that one. Uh, so this was the one we made as the make and take um, with the cottage wreaths. Oh, let's look at it inside because it's so fun. So fun. Let me know in the comments if you were part of these any of these classes and made these cards or if you own the tutorial bundles and have made your own versions. Um, you can always adapt it to the products that you have on hand. So, all right, I got lost again. Was that August? August because this I think is September. Yes. September was um, a joyful card, but a little bit different. This one was a extended, this was a freestanding joyful card with the dancing Santas here. They all dance and party. <laughs> and, uh, and then we also had the more standard uh, joyful, but it's a double joyful. So it pop, it goes, Oh, I had upside down. This whole piece comes out. It gives you more um, opportunities to decorate. This one doesn't want to open. There we go. So it comes out all the way and it does actually stand up. It just tilts forward a little bit, but this kind of features is like a kickstand. So, so many fun cards. <gasps> oh my gosh. Are you guys still awake? We are just going to town here. This guy is, is uh, this little wizard is uh, dancing here too. All right. So that was September. And of course, last month we had
add the curtain call fun pull card. This is one that I dreamed up and my team helped me name it. Opens up like that. Again, a standing one. It looks like a stage. And this is like a curtain that raises up with your inside message. So uh, we called it the curtain call card because of that stage appearance. And again, way more than five cards because Susan is not good at following her own rules of five cards. So we even had our little gnome in the turkey hat inside. So cute. And this one actually was a gift card holder. So, ah, and that brings us up to November, which is today. So all of these tutorial bundles are available to, for sale. If you place a $50 order, you can pick one for free. Um, today we did the the newest one, and it is the double um, faux step, uh, the, 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 the faux, okay, wait, double faux step fold card. <laughs> so you can see the step here, the card opens up when there's an inside message, and then there is a double um, uh, pieces on there that you can decorate and so forth. It's, it's very nice appearance when it stands. We have an extra little trick that helps those pop out and really hold the card up. So the card is not going to collapse and go flat because it actually can't. Um, it is designed to, to help hold its shape. So um, this was the make and take card, depending on which color of candy cane you got. What comes with the bundle? With the bundles, they are just digital tutorials. I shouldn't say just, but they are digital tutorials. So you get step-by-step -step photo tutorial of all of the cards that are in the uh, that I made with that fun fold. So um, each of them has their own little special uh, uh, tweaks and uh, details and so forth. So, and all my tips and tricks on putting the cards together. So this was another one. Um, this is uh, uh, another of the double faux step fold cards. This one is with the adorable snowman magic um, stamp set with a little bunny on the inside sending cool wishes for a cool Christmas. Uh, sending wishes for a cool Christmas. Then we have this one, uh, which is also stands up for display. And this one is with the designer tags. We're going to play with the designer tags tonight. This is a die set from the annual catalog that I think gets overlooked. It's very easy to overlook this one. So we're going to give it a little bit of a play tonight. And then we did the beautiful... Um, you guys, I cannot, all day long, I'm not being able to think of, of names of things. Peace to you, a stamp set <laughs> for this one. Um, and then the inside message there. And again, I got carried away. So I did the long-legged gnome. He's tall and he's got hands and he's waving at you. Tis the season to be jolly. This is with the Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper. This paper is sadly retiring. Um, when this catalog ends or when it sells out, whenever, whichever happens first. I did that same idea with the long-legged gnome here to make a Valentine card, or this could be an anniversary card, or just an I love you card um, with our, our cute little gnome on stilts there, or leggy gnome. <laughs> um, and then one more with the long-legged gnome. This one is a little birthday card. So super super fun so the tutorials for all of these will be available soon okie doke well hey jennifer how are you i thought maybe i thought maybe i'll worry out this afternoon <laughs> jennifer my moderator is here to uh help us out tonight hey jennifer thanks for tuning in um so Thank you, Sue. Uh, Sue has um, gotten the tutorials in the past and she finds them to be clear and detailed. I'm so glad to hear that because I do put a lot of a lot of effort into making that happen. So I like a detailed tutorial personally, and I like one with lots of pictures. So yeah, the long legged gnomes are really fun. Um, so yay, so fun. Oh my goodness. So um for all the questions. Do cards come with a tutorial? Just the instructions on how to make the cards, Marsha. So um, there is no packets with the tutorial bundle. It is, it is, it is the directions. And I walk you through measurements um, and step-by-step -step photos on how to make the card. Okay, so let's talk card making. Oh my gosh, how long did that take? All right, we got to get going. We got cards to make. So this is the um, designer tags dies. 
that I was uh, that we used this afternoon, and we have a little. <laughs> I think we have a gnome. Uh, a gnome part has jumped into my packaging. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, it's a gnome nose in red because everybody should have a red gnome nose, right? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull out these dies and let's take a look at them. Um, these are tags, right? But they're fancy tags and they're really fun. So we've got this great big one right here um, that has a, um, a ribbon pull in it. So let me grab a ribbon here and I'll show you how that works. So you've got the tag, you might put your big sentiment on it or whatever. And then this is to thread ribbon behind your card or your label, and then that can be um, shown on the card and the ribbon would be back behind, if that makes sense. Um, or you could do it where the ribbon's in the front. So your choice. So that's the biggest one. And then this rose is to make a cutout in that tag. It doesn't completely cut out the rose shapes. It's a peek through, okay? This is a butterfly. This one does completely cut out the butterfly. It's it's um, not a peek through. It's the whole shebang. And then we have the um, this cute tag here. I haven't cut this one yet. It has this fancy scallopy top on it, and it is um, does have stitching, so really nice. We have this one right here, which <clears throat> has some paper in it from when I, I cut it earlier. Um, has a fun little, uh, it's got the stitching and then a fun little flower. What else do we have in our set here? Um, we have these uh, leaves, branches, whatnot. A little piece left in those as well. And then we have this double. So this cuts a complete um, die that has these decorative, or excuse me, tag that has these decorations in it plus the hole. And then this cuts a layer for that, or this can be a completely separate tag. And if you want this tag to have a hole, it's got a little separate hole cutting piece even in right in the die set. So that is um, the dies that come in the designer tag dies. Kind of one of the uh, hidden gems in the annual catalog, in my opinion. Um, and let me pull these all out and just put them on my magnet sheets. I get these magnet sheets from Stampin' Storage. Um, I'm not, I'm not an affiliate with them. Um, I just never set up that program, but I love their stuff. And so I'm happy to, to give them a shout out because, uh, you can find them online, Stampin' Storage. And, um, I get the magnet sheets on these little sleeves, um, and it just helps me, um, organize my dies and, be able to um, see what I've got, if that makes sense. So we're going to do some die cutting tonight. Now I'll show you what that, you kind of saw it already, but this is what this tag looks like doubled up. Here's a, a butterfly with the uh, die cut from the gold and rose gold sheets. This is the gold, obviously, in there. And so this, um, just you can see the detail in that tag. It's just lovely and super elegant. Of course, you can have this back layer piece be a contrasting color. Um, so those holes show up even more. Uh, just lots of options there. And then this is uh, this die right here with the, the um, stems, leaf, leafy stems, I guess we could say. So you could do a white on white thing or uh, do this on a color. Um, we're going to play with this die right here tonight. So let me bring in our die cutting machine. And we're going to quickly put a card together here. I think I'm still zoomed in. Oh my goodness, yes. All right, let's zoom out a bit. Let's see. No found it. I haven't lost anything yet, Jennifer. Are you so proud of me? Did I have I guys? I don't think so. I got confused on what month was what craft or noon, but I, don't, I haven't lost anything yet. And I'm getting thirsty, so I better lose something soon. All right. Um, all right. So I just lost something. Okay. We were just talking about it. I had a piece of basic white here to cut my tag and it has absolutely vanished. I'm sure I've just buried it with stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. It was right. Ah, found it. That's right where I put it. Hmm. There it is. Yay. All right. Take a sip, everybody. Hmm. Oh, green tea with lemon. That sounds just lovely. 
<laughs> Arlene said it'll be happening soon. Yeah, you were, you were spot on Arlene. You really, you called that one. All right. So we're going to put our big die on here and then we're going to take those roses and we're going to lay them right inside the die because that's going to cut that peek through. And then whatever you put behind um, is going to peek through, right? Show through um, from the back. So we've got this on. I need a top plate. Oh, found it. Take a sip, everybody. It was hiding on my chair. I brought everything over but that. And it was still on my chair. All right. So let's crank this through. I think in the last video, not this afternoon, I didn't lose anything this afternoon. Did I, Jennifer? I don't think I did. Uh, but um, Tuesday night, I, I think I had a record breaking nine, nine, something like that. Crazy. All right. So we're going to pull this off. Now this, I still got some good stuff there. I can cut, die cut things from. Let's see how this looks. So we've got our, um, rose there. Let me just grab when you purchase the, oh, I'm sorry. I jiggled the whole camera. So sorry, guys. Um, when you purchase the, um, the take your pick tool, um, you have an option as a separate thing to get the die brush attachment, which comes with two of these sponges. And they're just there to kind of grab the little bits as you roll them out and also keep them from flying all over your house. You will get a little bit flying all over your house, but it does help keep them in check. So um, that's where that sponge comes from. And you get two of them because eventually they get kind of ratty and you have to check them out. So, uh, so you get two. I haven't had to throw one out yet, but it could happen. I use it a lot. All right. So there we've got our pretty peek through rose. All right. Uh, let's see what else we want to do. We want to do some embossing, but I also want to die cut a butterfly, but I don't know what color our butterfly is going to be because I'm going to need you guys to vote on that. I guess we could, could we vote now? Oh, sure. Why don't we? Let's do that now. All right. So we've got our pretty die there. And we're going to use this pretty ribbon to thread through that ribbon thread. This is the uh, rose gold and white ribbon. And so it's kind of a metallic -y rose gold in there. And so I pulled out the rose gold um, specialty foil. Um, it's all uh, rose gold, but this one, as you can see, is kind of a hologram um, iridescent, they call it. Then we have the matte and then we have the shiny. I personally don't think for this elegant rose that the iridescent is probably the right choice. It's just a little too funky. It is fun though, right? Kind of like tie dyed from the 60s. Um, so I'm going to say either the matte finish, which is lovely. Oh, let me show you what it looks like with the ribbon. So you can make a fully informed decision, the matte finish or the shiny finish. So let me know in the comments if you prefer the matte or the shiny um, option for our card tonight. And while you are voting for that, I'm going to set up a little die cutting here, or excuse me, embossing. So I'm going to remove, uh, I'm just going to go down to number one and get this set. Uh, looks like Looks like the matte is the winner. All right, we're going to go with the matte. I have a couple votes for the shiny too, which I think would also be pretty. Uh, but now we're going to do our embossing and we need to know which embossing folder to use. I've got three here. We can do brick, we can do the type, or we can do the, um, I think it's called pretty flowers. So uh, let me know in the comments if you want to do the brick, the type, or the flowers. And while you're doing that, I will grab my cardstock. This is basic white cardstock and it is four by five and a quarter. And we have two different folders here. Let's see, I've got lots of, lots of type, time-worn type showing up. All right, looks like time-worn type is the winner. All right, and lots for the flowers too. So we'll do the time warm type. That one is a 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to get the number four plate that comes in the die cutting machine here. If you have the older Big Shot machine, um, you'll want a, um, 
you want to use the thicker, uh, we have a thicker blue plate for that one. Or if you don't have that, you might have to do a little shimming to get it the right, um, the right thickness. Okay. This one, it, it is a little bit lineal. It has words on it. You really hard. They don't really spell out sentences. There's just sort of random words. So these folders have a line printed on them. Can you see that line? Let's see if I can show it to you. This line right here. So if you line up the bottom edge of your cardstock with that line, um, when it's a lineal folder, then you know it's going to be straight. And those kind of things really bug me. <laughs> They're crooked. So uh, if it doesn't bug you, then don't worry about it. Um, so we're going to put on, again, this is number one and then number four, and then our folder with our cardstock in it. We'll send that through. Um, the cardstock is basic white, and it is four by five and a quarter. Cork. All right. And so... We've got that. Um, I'm going to set this aside. We are going to be cutting a butterfly in a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure cut what the butterfly is going to be cut from yet. So I have my card base here. I had ready ahead of time, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter and just folded in half. And then I have my um, embossed panel that we just did. So pretty. Um, now, again, this does have words on it. So it's just random things like forever happy. Um, I see the word end there, lighter. Uh, we know, um, again, it's can't really read sentences. It's just sort of random words. But I do like to make sure they're right side up <laughs> and not upside down. So just uh, something to be aware of with this folder. It's a great folder for kind of adding a vintage feel to your cards, which is kind of pretty with this rose. That's probably what you guys were thinking. You guys are so good at helping me design these projects. Thank you so much. All right. All right, there we go. You can see that detail right there. <gasps> Oops, dang it. All right, that was not my intent. <laughs> Okay, we've got our first mess up of the night. All right, that, that deserves a drink. Mm. Should have gone with the wine tonight. I'm removing this. <laughs> Take a drink, everyone. I didn't lose it, but I lost it. <laughs> I want to wrap my ribbon around that piece. <clears throat> so I don't want to stick it on my card yet. Oh, my goodness. All right, I am cutting a piece of this pretty rose gold and white ribbon. It's just a little bit longer than my card front. And I'm going to be threading through my piece here. Okay, let's stick our ribbon through that ribbon slide and slide it through like so. So that's how the ribbon works. And then it's going to wrap around that. But first, we want our layering piece. And so you voted for the matte, rose gold matte finish. And I have this cut at two and three quarters by uh, two and seven eighths. So that it gives me a nice little layer there. I cut my rows a little lower than I maybe should have. So I'm just trying to make sure that, that there's no gap, no gappage. All right. I might even, you know what, I'm going to cut a little bit longer of a piece. So let's grab rose gold here. And I'm going to cut it at three. Because I don't want, I don't want, I want the rose gold to be behind all of the rows. I hope that makes sense. Let me explain it a little better. When I die cut this rose, I had it a little far down. So it, it uh, was a little gap was showing. So I cut it a little bit longer so that now it's fully covered. So when I stick this on, um, you can use uh, dimensionals for this. Um, I think I will because that's going to give us a nice little shadow effect on that rose. So let's grab some dimensionals. And we just don't want to put any dimensionals, obviously, in the rose opening there. So we're going to put some here, here, here. This is 
sticking to me. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some mini dimensionals to poke in these little smaller bits here. So I don't want my rows to be collapsing inward. We'll stick one right there. There we go. And then we can pull those off and put on our pretty mat showing through. It is a really great embossing folder. Jennifer's got the page number for us. It is in the annual catalog on page 177. Thank you, Jennifer. All right. So if you had your rows up a little higher than I did, then you could go with the two and three quarters by two and seven eighths. Um, if it's low like mine, you want might want to do the three inches. All right, so I've got my piece put together there. Let's grab our ribbon, which is trying to stick to things. All right, I'm going to slide that up behind. So elegant, so elegant. All right, we're going to poke this through. Um, we actually have another rose gold um, in our catalog too, and that is this one which is almost like fabric. So it comes with the regular gold and with the rose gold. And it is really, really pretty, really pretty stuff. All right, so now I've got that threaded through and I can wrap that around my card. Let's go ahead and stick this down. That's a little adhesive here. And Oh, words are right side up. Okay, excellent. Go, and then I'm just going to wrap that around. I, I did plenty of ribbon, that is for sure. Probably too much ribbon. And then I've got my card base here. And we're going to pop that on. And I can just kind of show you what the rose gold looks like and what the super shiny one looks like. So many different options, right? And then we're going to do a butterfly on here. So we've got some options. We've got the butterfly that comes right in the set here, and we're going to die cut that. Um, should we die cut it in... The mat that we used behind here or should we do the shiny for the butterfly or should we do the rose gold uh, the other rose gold for the butterfly let me know in the comments uh, what should we call this one um, we've got shiny we've got matte or we've got other <laughs> sorry I'm brain dead today I can't think of a I can't think of a good name for that it's almost like fabric though other <laughs> I've got to vote for other the other the other. <laughs> Love it. Rose gold other. Okay, it looks like this one is our winner. All right, let's try this and see what we think. All right. I'm not sure I'm crazy about that ribbon. We might change it. All right, hang on. Let's bring in the die cutting machine. Woohoo! All right, so we're going to do some die cutting. So we've got platform number one. This is the emboss and cut machine. And then we've got plate number two. This is the thin die adapter, which is what we're using. A very not pretty uh, plate number three that's nice and scarred up. And then we've got our other <laughs> rose gold here with our little butterfly there. And put on another plate, another three on top. And send that through. All right. Let's see how it looks. Oh, very pretty. All right. So I'm going to pop that out. And let's grab our sponge again and our die brush. Ooh. All right. Where'd my die? I've got two regular take your picks. Where did my die brush? Oh, that found it. It was under the dimensionals. Take a sip, everybody. <laughs> the other the other is, is on page 139 in the annual catalog in case you are wondering hi Roz how are you the other rose gold so let's go ahead and roll this out mm 
Mm -hmm. All my little bits here. All right. This one is, it's very different paper. Like I said, it's, it is actually almost like a fibers that are um, adhered to card, to, to thick chipboard, <laughs> not super thick, but um, pretty substantial chipboard. So um, it, it does hold, um, it cuts, but it, it does stick in those holes. You did need to be a little diligent in putting out, putting, poking, bleh, poking them out, but um, they're quite striking. It's, it's worth the effort. This one does not want to play. Oh, come on, you. Fine, be that way. All right, let's get you off the back side then. All right, I think we just about have it here. A few more hangers on over here. The other issue is my uh, cutting plate is getting very scarred up. And when that happens, um, the things tend to stick in the dies more. The little bits. So almost there, you guys. All right, there we go. But you can bend this and crinkle it because it's almost like it's like die cutting ribbon almost. It's really cool. All right. So our beautiful, oh, good choice, you guys. I really like that. That is lovely. So that is our um, our little ribbon there. I am not thrilled with my ribbon choice here, though. It's um, it's very um, a cool pink versus the warm pink of our rose gold choices here. So I'm not sure it's going to make the cut. Let's take a look at some other options. This is where you guys go, oh, Susan, you're such a perfectionist. I know it. It's the cross I bear. But it's a good way to look at other options, right? So let's look at other options. One option we have is, <clears throat> what do we have? We had it out earlier. We have this petal pink ribbon, which is definitely a warmer toned pink. So let's see what that looks like. This is a really cool ribbon. It is um, in the annual catalog. It is like felt. It's called, what is it called? Uh, soft polyester ribbon, but it doesn't have, um, it's just cut. It's not, doesn't have like a seam binding or an edging or anything. It's like a strip of felting almost, super cool. So um, you usually run it through twice when using that paper. That's a great tip, Arlene. Um, the other rose gold, Arlene says she it, uh, has better luck if she runs it through her machine twice. Thanks for sharing that tip. So I, I am liking that one better than our other because this one is a very, uh, it's just a cooler tone pink um, than our warm rose gold here. The other one that might look good is, but this might be too peachy, but let's just take a peek. This is the um, organza ribbon that is the pale papaya. And I think that's maybe just a little too peach. So let's, uh, Knight of Navy would be nice. You could also do a, um, a gold. Let's go with the petal pink. Let's see what we think on that. All right so many choices. You can also do a white. Just a, a white would be nice with this. Got way more ribbon than I need, don't I? Okay, there we go. It's so soft. So soft. All right. Let's pull that off. And let's go back to our card here. You know, one of these times when I pull this off, I'm going to flip it around and get the words on upside down, don't you? I know I'm going to do that. But there, there I checked. There, we're still good. Phew. We're still good. All right. Now I'm going to wrap it here. And I'm going to wrap it here. The thicker the ribbon, um, the more you might want to consider actually um, also popping up the tag itself or the, I should say the, um, this whole panel, the embossed piece. Got that on there. And then we've got our butterfly right here. Let's put him on with a glue dot. And then before I stick him on, I want to figure out where my words are going to go. 
and where he's going to go and all of those placement things. So for the words, let me grab those one moment here. This is the Charming Sentiments stamp set. Um, this one has matching dies. And I die cut this one out earlier uh, for my crafter noon uh, project, and I'm really hoping I put it back. Hmm. Oh, I think that's it right there. Phew. Phew. Momentary panic. It's a huge die set. This one um, has candles in it. Just really, really nice die set. All right. So we've got our just for you. Um, we're going to emboss this, believe it or not, with um copper embossing powder my experience that looks really good with the rose gold so let's grab a piece of basic white and i need to get out my embossing things so i've got my embossing buddy here i have way bigger piece of paper than i need but that's all right so we'll give that a rub i'm gonna grab my metallics embossing powders these are back in stock you silver gold and copper um, this copper uh, has very much of a pinkish tone to it. Um, my gold and silver uh, powders were very old and um, they weren't nice, bright and shiny when I was embossing them anymore. So I did uh, buy the new um, collection of the, the three and I've been really, really happy with the results. So if your embossing powder looks kind of more brown <laughs> than shiny, uh, gold or silver or whatever or gray if it's kind of matte it just might be old and you might need to invest in some new powder so i'm going to stamp this in versamark ink and my powder pal is currently um full of gold powder <clears throat> because susan did not clean up last time so i'm going to just use a piece of cardstock because i don't want to mess around with dealing with that right now so there we go all right, I'm going to sprinkle my co 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 copper powder on. It's hard to say. Copper powder. I know, isn't it pretty? But can you see how my old copper was very orangey? This new one has this pretty rose goldy pink color, and it looks absolutely beautiful with rose gold. So it's not the greatest stamping in the world there, Susan. <clears throat> I talk to myself when I stamp. Anybody else do that? Add a little bit more. That looks a little better. I'm just blowing off the leftover embossing piece bits that are on there so that they don't melt and get in the blobby in in a in the way of my did 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 all right, it might be nap time for Susan. It's been a long day and a lot of stamping, which is good, but I can't talk anymore apparently. So what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to get the little excess granules <clears throat> of embossing powder off so that they don't melt all right there we go let me bring oh it's right here my heat tool is right here but it's not on why are we not on oh i unplugged it so it is actually a good little safety tip for you um you do want to unplug your embossing your heat gun when you're not using it i've heard um especially if you have pets I've heard stories where a dog or a cat have actually knocked the heat tool to the floor and accidentally uh, turned it on and then burned the house down. So uh, be careful. And I'm stalling because I can't get it plugged in. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. Grab my little tweezers here so I don't burn myself. All right, so got that embossed. I do have dogs, so I am going to want to. Uh, unplug that later. All right, let's go ahead and die cut out our sentiment. Now you could also, if you, if you have a just for you or whatever your sentiment is, you could also do a little um, circle, a little banner, something like that. 
but this one has a die that perfectly cuts it out. So we're going to go that road. Again, this is the Charming Sentiments Bundle from the annual catalog. And just want to line it up so that it is touching. And then I'm going to secure it with a post-it note. <laughs> you still have a house. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, not good. You woke up from your half hour nap. Was it really a half an hour nap or was it longer? I took a I took a, a 20 minute nap today and I did actually get up, woke up right before my alarm went off. So I thought that was pretty good. All right. I love naps. Naps are the best. All right. I'm going to crank this through. And take a look here at our sentiment. See if I got it. There we go. So perfectly die cut right there. Put that back on my magnet so I don't lose it. And let's finish up the card here. All right. So the just for you. We're going to just map it out here. Let's pop a little dimensional on the back there. I think a big one would fit, but I know two minis would definitely fit. So actually, I don't even know if I need two. Yeah, I can squeeze two on just barely. All right. So thinking butterfly there and words up there. Yes, I think we will go for that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a glue dot on the back of... Uh-oh. Does anyone see my glue dots? Because they're not in my holder where they... Oh, right here. Found it. All right, take a sip. Mm -hmm. Oh, your half-hour nap was an hour-and-a-half nap? Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be able to sleep tonight. Oh, this is a brand new glue dot roll. I don't know what happened to my partial one, but that's all right. That works, right? I'm going to put two glue dots on here just so it doesn't want to fly off anywhere. And we'll pop that in right there. And there we have our card with the designer tags very elegant and this is what it would have looked like if we'd kept the original ribbon which is also nice i just think it's just a little um little cooler pink than i wanted so and then i've got this whole other tag that i can use um, i've got this inside tag so this could even be on the inside I'm going to leave the inside blank for right now because I'm not sure what event I'll be using this for. It could be for a wedding. It could be for a birthday. So I'm going to leave the inside blank until I know uh, what sentiment I'm using in there. And again, if you really want to just take a quick... Oh, hmm, Uh-oh. I lost something, you guys. Uh, found it. Found it. <laughs> Let's take another quick look at the uh, the fold from Crafter Noon here. And this uses those same dies. This one I did in the brushed gold uh, foil um, from the brushed metallics. Um, that same uh, die. This one was embossed in gold. And then we have some pearls on there. And this one I did do birthday for the inside sentiment. So such a pretty die set, right? So many uh, card possibilities there. So... Woo, we made it through. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to flip around here. So Crafternoon, um, you can catch the replay of that video um, and you can subscribe right here. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, SueStampfield.com. Subscribe to the free project sheets and also uh, subscribe to the blog so that you know when all of the details for the Crafternoon projects are available and you can view all of the pictures. So Ooh, where do I get my magnetic sheets, Elaine? I get them from Stamp and Storage. They're actually located here in Minnesota, but they are online, and so they ship anywhere, and they're really great. I said it 
seven times tonight. Okay, well, that my average is eight, I think. So seven's not too bad. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, we had we had seven found it tonight. So cheers, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And don't forget the Black Friday special that I'm offering goes through Monday. You can get uh, a free past Crafternoon tutorial bundle. Uh, you'll get a coupon code for me, or you can save it and get this November one when it comes out. So place a $50 order in my online store that will also qualify you for a packet next month. You get the tutorial bundle for next month's Crafternoon, and then a bonus tutorial bundle from the past ones. So take care, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.